the first thing that, uh, at the end of the day, when there's ever any confusion about message, what we tell campaigns is think about one idea, one word, rationale. What's the rationale for your candidacy? All right? It's the why. Pretty simple concept, uh, but it's remarkable how often campaigns and businesses, associations, enterprises fail to really figure out that fundamental why. And uh, as you watch a campaign, and, and if you see it faltering and stumbling badly, it's often because they haven't figured out that rationale. And, uh, conversely, really good campaigns have a very clear rationale. A Kennedy who should have been the second president, Kennedy, this is Ted Kennedy. And uh, in 1979, Jimmy Carter was president and terribly weakened, so weak that it looked like he might get primary opposition in his own party running for president. Kennedy had one big problem, which was an incident called Chappaquiddick, in which a young woman had lost her life, alcohol was involved, very messy. And uh, so he and his advisors knew that they had to deal with that issue. It, it had happened some time before, but they knew when he ran for president, we relitigated. So they came up with a strategy, which was a good one. They knew that if they just went out there and announced for president, there'd be hundreds of reporters and publications wanting to examine and ask questions about Chappaquiddick. So they said, well, listen, why don't we just kind of jump that whole process, go to the the, the, the recognized mo toughest, most credible news organization in the country at that time, 60 Minutes, and give them an exclusive, let them ask every question they want to about Chappaquiddick. It'll be very tough. It'll be a big, tough story, but it'll be done. It'll be over because everybody else will look at that and say, and we can say, listen, we've answered every question to the toughest news organization in the country. We're done with that issue and the rest of these organizations would salute and they'd move on. It was a good strategy, and uh, it appeared to be working beautifully as they briefed Kennedy for weeks before. They got into the room. Roger Mudd <laughs> asked every question conceivable about Chappaquiddick, and Kennedy knocked it out of the park. Just did a great job. The report, the, his advisors were in the back high-fiving each other, and at the very end of the interview, literally as they're turning down the lights, Roger Mudd very casually really having nothing to do with the, the, the reporting that he was doing or the segment that he was working on, just very casually said, so why do you want to be president? And here's the moment captured where Kennedy just freezes, and you know he's sitting there saying, damn it, we didn't go over that one. In any political campaign that we do, there's a question that we ask on every political poll, and the first question is, is the country or the state or the city or wherever this person is running, is, is it headed in the right direction or on the wrong track? Anytime that wrong track number is over 50, is what we call a challenger election. The wrong track number back in 1979 was about 80. So Kennedy, cl clearly the opportunity for Kennedy to run is because the incumbent has a problem. So he's the challenger. He's supposed to be the agent of change, right? He's going to be the change guy against the status quo guy. And he gets asked why he's running, and what does he say? Everything's great, right? Greatest education system, greatest technology, great innovation, great, 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 great. So therefore, re-elect Carter. If everything's so great, why would people want to change? So when asked why he was running for president, he gave a, pretty good, a, a, a very good articulation to re-elect the guy he was going to run against. And his campaign melted down immediately, and it never got off the ground. So those are, those are sort of the structural components that we go over when talking about uh, the importance of message to get a common understanding. And so, as, as I said, as you're thinking about your campaigns, think about those components. Where, where did they work? Where didn't it? And I think that you'll see, uh, as you look at successful campaigns, you see campaigns that aren't working, you'll see components of, of these structural pieces in, in, in the, in the campaigns that are working are the ones that aren't.